Hey y'all, my favorite thrift store did their famous $10 bag sale. I'm gonna show you what I got at this thrift store. Everything behind me is what I fit into my trash bag. I paid $10 for everything you're about to see and I intend to list it all online to make a profit. So let's get into today's thrift haul. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because I post at least one thrift haul every single week. Let's get into it. I made a video about a month or two ago on brands I have a 100% sell through rate with and I'm pretty sure I put this one on the list because I have sold every single piece from this brand. This is Miracle Suit, and this is just basically slimming swimwear. I always sell my swimsuits at least $50. Look at this. This has some circles on it. It's a fun bathing suit. Uh, the size tag was very faded. Um, I could not tell what size it was. I did measure it and I'm estimating it's a size 10. Uh, but yeah, I don't see this hanging out long at all. If you ever see a Miracle uh, miracle Suit swimsuit, I would pick it up, especially if you can get it super cheap. Mine have never sat very long at all. All right, that was the only swimwear that I picked up. I did pick up a couple of bras, however. Um, I've never sold this brand before. But I hear so many other YouTube resellers talking about it. I want to say this is Lane Bryant's line, Cacique. Uh, this one is a 44G. And it is just a brown bra in really good condition. And then I found a, another Cacique bra. This one is in a 44C. And it has lace and polka dots, and it's in a gray color. I haven't looked up comps. Um, I'm guessing they'll go around maybe $20 is what I'm guessing. All right, let's get into these piles of clothes. So I was really excited to see Carhartt at the bag sale. I got both of these. I got two pairs. Both of these are a size 18W. I got a pair of black Carhartt pants. These are in the original fit, so I got that, and then I also found, these are again in an 18W, found a gray pair. So yeah, really excited about these. I do not think I'm going to lot these together. I think I'm going to list them separately. I really like to sell this brand, and anytime I see it at Dollar Day or at the bag sale, I definitely pick it up. It's flax, and these are just a pair of pull-on, white linen pants in a size small. Um, they do have a small hole in the back. I'm just realizing there's a small stain too. So anyway, I probably won't be able to get much for these because they are flawed, but I thought I can probably still get $20 for them. Okay, I am going to have to also stain treat this one, but I thought it was worth it to pick up size 6 Eliza J. And this is just a lace dress. It's really, really pretty A-line dress, um, but the staining is actually in the armpit. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, uh, but there is like a pink stain. And it's in both armpits. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if someone dyed their armpit hair. But yeah, there's two pink stains both underneath the armpit. So anyway, I'm going to try to stain treat that and hope that comes out. That could be a pretty penny if that comes out. Uh, another brand I love to pick up when I can get it for cheap. It sells for me very well. BCBG Max Azria, and this is just a sheer striped top. So I think I am gonna list that maybe $25, $30. Um, this is Land's End, and this is just a Land's End dress, and it's in a good size. It's a size extra large, and I think I'm going to put cover up in the title. It's just a blue short sleeve dress, and it has like the drawstring at the bottom here. Just a really nice casual dress, but yeah, I think that would be great as a cover up. Um, I do love to also pick up this brand, Soft Surroundings. I really look out for their embroidered pieces. Um, I did sell a Soft Surroundings piece. The most expensive one I've ever sold. I think I sold it for about $60. 
and it was just a polyester tunic but it had a lot of embroidery on the back of it so those are my favorite soft surrounding pieces um this right here this is just a black lace top um it has kind of like a fun little ruffle detail with the lace in the back as well so probably just list that for around twenty dollars all right i did pick up several new with tags pieces you're about to see them and some new to me brands you guys know i announced it in a video i think two or three videos that i'm going to just be trying a lot of new brands this year in my reselling business brands that I've never sold before and just see how they do. Um, this one here, this is called Brenna and M and it's a petite extra large and they seem to sell okay. I think I can get maybe 15 to 20 uh, for this top. So yeah, just a basic top right here. Uh, another brand which apparently, I think it was sold at Goodwill at one point because this is a Goodwill tag. And the store that does the bag sale, it's not a Goodwill. Uh, this is a size 3X and it's new with tags. And Sarah Run, there's the tag right there. Anyway, it's just a really thin, breathable blue shirt. So I think that'll sell. Um, I do like to pick up Target new with tags and even not new with tags sometimes. If the style is cute, it does still sell for me. Um, I don't get a lot for it, usually 15 to 25. The pants do really well. I've sold them before. I do want to address this. I get this question all the time, and I actually just saw someone in a reselling Facebook group ask this question. What do you do whenever a thrift store writes on Sharpie on your new with tag stuff like my thrift store does? I leave it on there. I take pictures of it, and then I write in my description that the item is new with tag, but the only flaw is Sharpie on the tag. That's all I do. I've never had a customer upset when they received it. I'm just really transparent. That's my take on it. You do you. Uh, but yeah, I get that question all the time because so much of my thrift store clothes have this Sharpie on them. Yeah, I've never had a problem as long as I just address it. Anyway, these are just a pair of straight size 16. I don't think I even told you the brand. A New Day. These retailed for what $28 anyway yeah just a pair of black pants I'll probably list these for like $30 and just take offers okay I picked up this piece here and um, it just has a lot going on so I just got it to try it out Doncaster Sport okay never picked this up okay there's a couple things first off retail $140 for Doncaster Sport I'm not sure I don't know just odd also look <laughs> look at the color that they put on this tag <laughs> i don't know what's going on here anyway it's just a basic uh tank top i got it because it was new with tags we'll see how that does it just had a lot going on okay this was a nice skirt um i like to pick up anything with that slinky material you know um this is preston in york size extra large I have never sold this brand before. This is going to be another thing that we're going to give a try. But I really like the style of this. It's just a modest pull-on elastic waist. I would say probably midi skirt. It seems kind of short. I'll probably have to include measurements on that. Uh, but yeah, I like the style, so I picked that up. Love, 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 love this brand. You are going to see this brand in an upcoming uh, thrift haul. It's actually a New Orleans thrift haul coming out later on this week. I picked up a set from this brand. I'll talk more about that in the video. This brand, their pajama sets go for a lot of money. Nick and Nora. So this is just a single piece. It's just the shirt. I have still sold single pieces for $20, but if you can get your hands on a set, a lot of Nick and Nora sets go for about $50. I will show you one coming up in a thrift haul this Thursday. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Nick and Nora Bolo brand. Uh, I'm going to have to wash this, stain treat this. This had a stain. Ann Taylor, extra large, uh, just a pink floral bell sleeve top i think it's cute for spring and summer um this is also a new to me brand emery rose 
Um, it does seem like this brand does okay on Poshmark. I did see several sold for this brand, but it's just a 2X black short sleeve dress. Has a fun little pattern. So just trying to get into dresses more. They've been selling for me lately, so I'm trying to pick more up. Brandon was with me on this thrift trip and he really wanted to pick this up. I don't ever pick up FUBU, uh, but yeah, we decided to go ahead and get this. He wanted to see how it would do. It's a size large, it's FUBU the collection. So yeah, never sold it before, but you know, when you're at the bag sale, when you're at Dollar Day, you might as well give some stuff some shots, right? Look at this colorful thing right here. Y'all waiting to see that, right? Okay, J. Crew. I have been selling a little bit of J. Crew lately, mostly skirts. So I'm going to try to pick up more skirts. Um, these are a pair of Capris size six. I don't think these said the style name in here. I'm going to have to look it up. Uh, anyway, just a pair of pink capris so decided to give those a shot since i've been selling some j crew lately here's another brand i see all the time at the thrift store never picked up before i don't i don't know why i try to guess where things <laughs> are sold at because i don't shop i don't shop at the mall i don't shop at marshall's i don't shop at walmart target i don't shop at those places so when I see these brands, I always want to say, that's Walmart <laughs> or that's Target. Arizona jeans, I want to say it's Walmart, but you guys always correct me. This is probably Belk or something. Anyway, just a little crop top, new with tags, size medium. So I thought it was cute. It's not going to go for much, but all I got to do is make $10 and I make my money back on everything. So you really can't beat this sale. I love this top. I've actually sold this um, same shirt in a different colorway. Lucky brand plaid shirt. Probably expecting at least 15 to 20 on that one. Oh, here's something I'm keeping for myself. So in my last thrift haul, I asked if y'all wanted to see things I'm picking up for myself. And y'all said, yes, we do. I'm thinking about doing probably a thrift with me coming up of me going to different thrift stores and trying some stuff on. It'll be like a petite thrift with me, like clothing try on, because uh, I need some new stuff. This is one of the things I got for myself, uh, Sadie and Sage size small and it's just a really soft white crop top i really like basic pieces like this i love to wear like this and just skinny jeans and some like beige heels it's like my favorite outfit um okay here's some things i took chances on y'all y'all ever sold worthington sport i never have but we are going to give it a shot it does have the tag Look at this old tag. Okay, this is a 3X, and it was one price, then they marked it down to 20, and then 19.99. Look at that penny discount they gave you there. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, okay, so it's just a pull-on, is this navy? Yeah, it looks like it's like a pull-on navy skirt. So yeah, like I said, never sold it before, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, Sag Harbor. You guys want to know my most popular item on Facebook Marketplace? I just joined Facebook Marketplace. I guess it's been almost a month now. Sag Harbor has been my most viewed item. I put up a pair of Sag Harbor new with tag pants that I got at the bag. I think I either got those at the bag sale or dollar day. I paid like a dollar for them. I put them up, I think, for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. Or maybe $15. Anyway, long story short, I got, I think, 600 views on them in a couple days. So, I decided to pick up more Sag Harbor. New with tags. New with tags. Retail on these, $30. So, just a pair of white pants. Did I tell you what size they were? Size 14. So, yeah. We're going to just see. They haven't sold. The other pair have not sold. Uh, but they did get a lot of attention, so I'm thinking maybe that's something that's being searched on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, this is out of my comfort zone. I don't usually pick up formal dresses, but this was really pretty. Um, so it's really colorful. It has the sequins. It is padded on the inside. 
and it's just a really gorgeous gorgeous dress it also has this gorgeous train that just kind of flows out extra fabric um let me show you the brand um i think unfortunately this did not have the size so i'm gonna have to measure it just looking at it it looks small probably like a two so this is Mary Lee by Madeline Gardner. Gonna have to look it up. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, but I have had luck on Poshmark with just selling formal dresses, um, just by keywords really. And I can use colorful, sequins, bling, prom, tie dye. There's a lot of words I could use to describe this dress so I decided to take a chance and buy it. That was my thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have a, another thrift haul coming out in just a couple days and it is also going to be a collab with another YouTube reseller. Super excited to show you what I got. I got some designer pieces. Cannot wait to show you what I got in that haul. Remember if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you get notified each and every time I upload. I do try to upload pretty frequently here on this channel and I'd love to have you. All right, I'll see y'all in a couple days for that thrift haul. Bye y'all.